You were there in 2008. You saw it live, the smiles on their faces, the cheers from the stands when Federer, Nadal and Djokovic each lifted Grand Slam trophies in the same year. It happened again in 2012 and then in 2018, and you couldn't help but wonder who would replace the big three when they eventually retired. Well, you've got an answer now. Why they are so good. Here's a few reasons. Excellent on all surfaces. Very few people throughout tennis history have gotten slam wins on all surfaces. The big three's ability to compete on grass, clay, hard court, and all surfaces is one of the reasons they have dominated the next generation players for so long. Mentality. Tennis is a mental game, and when things don't seem to be going one's way, it is easy to fall apart. But with the big three, it's different. They have overcome virtually all sorts of challenges that have come their way. Fitness. Novak's court coverage and return is simply unreal. He makes players work so hard for every point that they get. Nadal's grind from the baseline and his trademark topspin are hard to match, while Federer could make some players even question their tennis IQ. Going into five sets with any of them on their best day would always be an uphill battle. That being said, who are the possible replacements for these monsters of the game? Potential replacements. Daniil Medvedev. One of the more obvious choices, Daniil Medvedev surely has what it takes to be a multi-slam champion. After beating Novak Djokovic in the 2021 US Open Finals, it became clear that a new crop of players was on the verge of taking over from the aging big three. Having also won the 2020 ATP Finals, four Masters 1000, and reached the finals of the Australian Open already, it is safe to say that the big serving 6'6 Russian is in the mix of players that could replace the big three. But there's someone seven years younger than him. Carlos Alcaraz Alcaraz was born in 2003, and by that time, Federer was already winning Wimbledon. The Spaniard's rise to the top has been sensational, with several youngest ever accolades to his name. Alcaraz became the first teenager to beat Nadal on clay in the quarterfinals of the Madrid Open before beating Novak Djokovic in the semifinals the next day, then defeating Zverev to win the title, thereby defeating the top three seeds in consecutive matches, a feat last achieved by Nalbandian in 2007. Alcaraz's style of play has earned him comparisons to the big three and has been touted by past greats such as McEnroe as a future world number one and a potential multiple Grand Slam winner. Who do we have next? Alexander Zverev Zverev has been a permanent fixture in the top 10 since 2017. He already has two ATP Finals titles, an Olympic gold medal and 19 singles titles to his name, including five Masters 1000 titles. He reached the US Open Finals in 2020 before losing to team. Zverev stands far from the baseline and attempts to dictate plays. The 6'6 German moves well for his height and has caused close to a dozen upsets against the big three, which makes him one of the most likely heirs to their throne. But here is another player who has beaten the big three, Nick Kyrgios. Controversial, flair, compelling, raw talent. The 2022 Wimbledon finalist has what it takes to produce some of the most brilliant moments in tennis. The Australian has an aggressive game and is one of the best servers on the tour. He won against each of the big three in his first attempt against them. He has won a couple of ATP titles, including the Masters 1000 at Cincinnati. However, he often loses his head when things are not going his way. Racket smashing, cursing, and rants have become a part of his game, and at 27, he is already the most fine player in ATP history. If Nick could keep his temperament in check, he could go on to become one of the best. Taylor Fritz The 2022 Indian Wells winner and Wimbledon quarter finalist possesses a strong weapon in his serves and is capable of hitting solid ground strokes off both wings. The top-ranked American player has the ability to hit sharp-angle cross-court shots on both the backhand and forehand sides. Fritz showed he deserves to be a next-gen leader by defeating Rafa Nadal for his first Masters 1000 title at the Indian Wells tournament. Here's another equally impressive American. Francis Tafoe. Despite his highest ranking being world number 24 and just a single ATP title to his name, Tafoe has shown that he has what it takes to dethrone the big three and compete with other players in his generation. The 6'2 American recently beat Nadal at the US Open with his aggressive game, impressive return of serves, and athleticism. Having reached his first semi-final via wins over top 10 opponents, Tafoe has shown that he can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest opponents. Who else? Yannick Sinner Having broken into the top 10 and racked up a few ATP titles, Sinner is one player to look out for, but not the only Italian. Here's another one, Matteo Berrettini. Reaching the quarterfinals, or better of Grand Slams, is no small feat. The 6'5 Berrettini has one of the fastest serves on tour. The 2021 Wimbledon finalist also uses a heavy topspin to make his shots harder to deal with. 
Despite reaching the world number six ranking, Berrettini's inconsistent backhand, failure to cope under pressure, and occasional lapses in concentration may be the final hurdles he needs to cross in order to impose himself on everyone else. Here's another all-core player, Stefanos Tsitsipas. The 2019 men's ATP finals champion, 2021 French Open finalist, and three-time Australian Open semi-finalist is highly regarded as one of the most talented players of the next generation. In 2018, he became the youngest player to defeat four top 10 opponents in a single tournament at the Canadian Open. The former world number three favors using a one-handed backhand down the line, along with a strong forehand on an eastern grip. But perhaps his most impressive quality is being an all-court player. The Greek player defended his first 1,000 Masters title this year at Monte Carlo, a feat only matched by Boris Becker, Hewitt, and Nadal, who has inspired the next player on our list. Kasper Ruud At 23, Ruud is the highest-ranked Norwegian in history. The 2022 French Open finalist was once a trainee at the Rafa Nadal Academy, and it is not surprising that 8 out of his 9 ATP titles have come on clay surfaces. Like Nadal, Ruud is a very physical player who looks to wear out his opponents with big forehand shots and plenty of topspin. Can he replicate some of the achievements of his idol? Here's another player, Andrei Rublev. From handling Roger Federer, one of his fastest losses ever in 2019, to defeating Djokovic at the 2022 Serbia Open, the Russian surely has what it takes to succeed at the next level. Perhaps his best weapon is his big forehand, but that also leads to unforced errors occasionally. His second serve is another aspect of his game that could use some improvement. With a career-high world number 5 ranking, and 11 ATP titles to his name, Rublev can't really be overlooked. Talking about upsetting the big three, here's another player to have done so. Dominic Team. Team turns 30 next year and has shared interesting rivalries with the big three, leading Federer 5-2, but trailing Novak 5-7 and Nadal 6-9. Still, he has four wins over Nadal on clay, which is highly underrated. Already a Grand Slam winner at the 2020 US Open finalist on three other occasions and a two-time ATP finals finalist, who says the Austrian cannot overcome his injury woes and loss of form in time to rule the next generation for at least half a decade. Here's another player heading towards his 30s in a few years, Cameron Norrie. The world number nine has unorthodox but consistent ground strokes and is seen as a modern counterpuncher. His great core positioning and speed have made him one of the best retrievers in recent times, and he needs to make his stamp as one of the leaders of the next generation. Already in his late 20s, time appears to be ticking for the 2022 Wimbledon semi-finalist. Unlike these next two players, Denis Shapovalov. The South Paul player has a single-handed backhand and a bold playing style. His high-risk play has earned him some success on tour, having once broken into the top 10 and also reached the Wimbledon semi-finals. The 23-year-old Canadian would be looking to make the most of his talents in the coming years. Hubert Hurkacz. The Polish international has reached a career-high world number nine and has five ATP titles, including a Masters 1000 to his name. His focus on defensive baseline play, coupled with his versatility and hard-hitting game, has been compared to Andy Murray's. Herkax could be a formidable opponent with more consistency. Luckily for him, he still has plenty of time on his side. And then there's Felix Auger and Roberto Batista Good in the conversation as well. Alcaraz, Rude, Zverev, Tsitsipas, and Medvedev have all been ranked inside the top five this year. But it's not just all about ranking. Ranking points are great, but not the perfect indicator of players' potential, which is why it's so difficult to pick out one standout player to replace the big three. When all is said and done and the big three call time on their playing careers, tennis fans will look up to the guy who they feel can redefine the game. With insane talents all over the tour, a big 12 wouldn't be unimaginable. These players may not possess the trophy hall or repertoire of the big three, but they are certainly edging closer to glory with each passing year. This crop of next generation players represents the biggest threat to tennis's holy trinity. With most of these players born in the late 90s, it is a question of which of them wants it more and has the staying power to dominate the current and next decades. Not to worry, this isn't the first time fans would be worried about the future of tennis. When McEnroe and Borg were leaving, many fans feared that they would never see exceptional players like them again, but then came Sampras and Agassi, and after Sampras' 14 Grand Slams look insurmountable, but then came Federer, Nadal, and later on Novak. Which other players do you think could dominate the sport after the big three leave the stage? Comment below. In the meantime, let's see what tennis legends think of one of these future stars in the next video.